What's up, guys? It's Christian Welch with the Fantasy Authority, aka Evil Empire FF on Twitter, bringing you another 2021 fantasy football profile. Bringing you another rookie today, and it is my absolute favorite rookie in this class, Carolina Panthers wide receiver Terrace Marshall. So the Panthers took Marshall 59th overall on the NFL draft. That's the 27th pick in the second round. And let me tell you a little bit about Terrace Marshall. So this guy is six foot two and a half, 205 pounds, 21 years old out of LSU. And what a tremendous career this guy had at LSU. He left LSU a national champion and fourth all time in receiving touchdowns there. And, and here's how it happens. So everyone remembers the national championship season with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. A lot of people don't talk about Terrace Marshall from that team, but he was the wide receiver three on that team. And he put up 46 catches for 671 yards and 13 receiving touchdowns uh, playing behind, again, Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson there with Joe Burrow. When all those guys were gone last year, Jefferson and Burrow into the NFL, Jamar Chase sitting out, Terrace became the alpha there at LSU with, with, with a revolving door at quarterback, and it didn't matter. He put up 48 catches, 731 yards, and 10 touchdowns in just seven games. So over the past two years, that's 23 touchdowns in just 19 games for Terrace Marshall playing at LSU in the best conference in the country, the SEC West. So just uh, extremely impressive to me. Like, I can't get enough of this guy. Gets better, though. His 40 at his pro day, 438. That's 6'2 and a half, 205 pounds. So a guy with this kind of size, this kind of red zone presence is putting up below a 4'4 at his pro day. Count me in on that. This guy's catch radius is nuts. Obviously, with that kind of size, he's a long receiver. But, but this dude's catch radius is just insane. If it is anywhere near this guy, he's bringing it in. What's really awesome about Terrace is he excels both out wide and in the slot. So looking at his entire career at LSU, he played 60% of his slots out wide and 40% of his uh, snaps in the slot. So he, he has proven that he can win no matter where he's lining up, just all over the field, just a tremendous weapon. So let's look at how the Carolina Panthers are going to use him. I think they're going to use him, you know, very similarly to where you're going to see him out wide. You're going to see him in the slot and the Panthers are going to want to feed this guy the ball. Matt Rule said it himself that he wants to feed this guy. Looking at the Panthers, this is the second year of the Matt Rule and Joe Brady era there running the Carolina Panthers. Notably, Joe Brady was with Terrace Marshall at LSU on that 2019 national championship team. So there's some familiarity, a familiarity there. God, that's a tough word when you're podcasting with Marshall and Brady, and they clearly wanted him on this team. So in addition to those coaches, uh, Sam Darnold also is new in town. So the Panthers went out and got them a quarterback. Rather than being a rookie, they went and got a guy that was, you know, most likely misused by Adam Gase and the Jets. He gets a fresh start with a ton of weapons in Carolina. So let's look at those weapons. The wide receiver room in Carolina, you got DJ Moore, who I agree most people think is a stud. Uh, Robbie Anderson, just a tremendous season last year. And, and again, familiarity with Sam Darnold. Uh, David Moore is the other notable receiver there outside of Terrace and the uh, Moore and Anderson. The tight end room, you got Dan Arnold, you got Ian Thomas, you got rookie Tommy Tremble. The running back room, obviously Christian McCaffrey leading the way, coming back from injury, the best back in the league. Uh, rookie Chuba Hubbard, and then Reggie Bonifon still hanging around. So looking at how this is going to shake out, the biggest thing here is Christian McCaffrey is back, okay? Christian McCaffrey saw 142 targets in 2019. So a team with like the Panthers that had three, I think it was top 36 wide receivers last year and DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, and Curtis Samuel, a lot of those targets that went to the wide receivers are, are going to funnel back to Christian McCaffrey. So I mentioned the 142 targets that McCaffrey saw in 2019. Mike Davis only saw 70 last year. So a big, big difference in how much the Panthers target Christian McCaffrey when he is the running back that's on the field. So I don't expect this team to have three wide receivers in the top 36 again. Uh, I only have them having one in the top 36, and that's DJ Moore. So Anderson, like I said, last year he had a great first year in the system, but he is nowhere near as talented as Terrace Marshall is. I mean, just nowhere near the prospect coming out and, and Marshall's just physical traits you know, and, and the red zone prowess that he has. That's really the big thing for me is if the pie of the passing game to the receivers is going to be smaller than it was last year, touchdowns are going to become more important. And if I'm betting on any of these receivers to get in the end zone consistently, it's the guy that had 23 touchdowns in 19 games playing in the SEC the past two years. He's got the second round capital. The offensive coordinator wanted him. He's got the body. He's, he's got everything. So if I'm Robbie Anderson, I'm a little bit nervous um, that Terrace Marshall is going to come in here and take my job. Outside of Christian McCaffrey, 
like I said, Marshall's the biggest threat on this team to get in the end zone. He has 10 touchdown upside, which, which sounds nuts. I'm by no means saying he's going to do that this year, but he has the upside to do so if all goes well. I've got him at a wide receiver four finish. I think I have Terrace at wide receiver 47 overall, but he has that wide receiver three upside because of the red zone presence that he brings. He's going wide receiver 60 in ADP right now on underdog. That's 127th overall. That's the 11th round pick seven. And, and, and I cannot get enough of that value. Like I said, this is a guy that I think could score 10 touchdowns. He's a guy I think could easily become the number two receiver on this team very quickly. He's a guy that I absolutely loved as a prospect. He hits every metric across the board. Count me in on Terrace Marshall. Definitely count me in on that wider six, wide receiver 60 price. I think he's going to outperform that by at least 10 to 15 slots. And, and you're getting a guy that just has a, a you know crazy, crazy ceiling. You know, the Panthers play in North Carolina. Everybody loves Michael Jordan. The, the ceiling for Terrace Marshall is the roof. So go out there and get him. You won't, you won't regret it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps, helps us grow. And also hop into the Discord. So we just started our TFA Discord a week or two ago. And that's where you guys can come in and really get you know, more intimate with us, if you will. Ask us questions. You know, we'll help you with your start sit. We'll help you with your draft. You can just, you know, interact with us. Watch us argue about the guys we like, the guys we don't like. Just a tremendous community for you guys to come in and get to know us better and really make sure that you're making the best decisions on your fantasy teams going forward. So please join us in the Discord. But that's all I got for you this week. Go draft your Terrace Marshall. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.